This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Let's consider the problem. Predict in which of the following entropy entropy decreases or increases. Okay. So in that the first one a liquid crystallizes into a solid and second is temperature of a crystalline solid is raised from 0 kelvin to 115 kelvin and another one is there that is third question uh, to any HCO3 solid which is NO2 CO3 plus CO2 carbon dioxide plus H2O okay and the fourth one okay next I am going to give a solution for this question for the first question now what is a liquid crystallizes into a solid so predict in which of the following entropy increases or decreases what happens in this after freezing the molecules attain an ordered state and therefore entropy decreases in the first one entropy decreases what happens after freezing the molecules crystallizes into solid and so it is after the uh, freezing the molecules attain an ordered state and therefore entropy decreases therefore entropy decreases for the second one uh, temperature of a crystalline solid is raised from 0 kelvin to 115 kelvin okay what happens at 0 kelvin the constituent particles are static and entropy is minimum at 0 kelvin contain ca Constitu the constituent uh, particles are a static particles are static and entropy is minimum at zero Kelvin if temperature is raised to if temperature is raised to 15 kelvin 115 kelvin these begin to move and oscillate about their equilibrium positions in the lattice they begins to start to move begins to move okay and the system becomes more disordered therefore entropy decreases therefore entropy increases it starts to move so that entropy increases next for third question the answer uh, the reactants NaHCO3 is a solid and it has low entropy your reactants NaHCO3 this is the reactants okay uh, is a solid therefore low entropy among products there are one solid and one two gases therefore the products represents a condition at higher entropy so therefore product having two gases and one solid therefore the products represents a condition of higher entropy therefore higher entropy okay and the next one the fourth here one molecule gives two atoms here the question is this one okay the one molecule which gives the two atoms number of particles increases leading to more disordered state 
two moles of H atoms have higher entropy than one mole of the dihydrogen molecule. Okay, so here number of particles increases leading to more disordered state. Number of molecules particles increases sorry this is number of particles increases leading to more disordered state two moles of hydrogen atoms have higher entropy that one mole of dihydrogen molecule okay so this is the fourth question answer next next problem is for oxid uh, i will write down the question here for oxidation of iron for oxidation of iron that is for e of s to f e 2 o 3 solid okay so entropy changes minus 549.4 joule per mole at 298 kelvin in spite of negative entropy change change of this reaction why is the reaction spontaneous okay so this is the question and i will solve the solve here one decides the spontaneity of reaction by considering uh, delta s total delta s system plus delta s surrounding for calculating delta s surrounding we have to consider the heat absorbed by the surrounding so which is equal to minus delta rh so temperature t entropy change of the surrounding is temperature t entropy change of the surroundings is delta s surrounding is equal to minus delta h divided by t okay this is at constant pressure so is equal to minus 1648 into 10 raised to 3 joule 
per mole divided by 298 Kelvin is equal to 0.530 Joule per Kelvin per mole. After calculation of this, you are getting 5530. 5530 uh, Joule per Kelvin per mole. So, thus total entropy change for this reaction. Uh, so, next uh, I will calculate the total entropy for this is 5530. Joule per Kelvin per mole 549.4 Joule per Kelvin per mole is equal to 4980.6 Joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so this shows that the above reaction is spontaneous. This shows that. The above reaction is spontaneous reaction. Okay, next consider the topic Gibbs energy and spontaneity. What is Gibbs energy? It is the total entropy change which decides the spontaneity of the process total entropy change which decides the point it is we have seen that for a system it is the total entropy change uh, that is delta s total which decides the spontaneity of the process but most of the chemical reactions fall into the category of either closed systems or open systems therefore for most of the chemical reactions there are changes in both enthalpy and entropy it is clear from the discussion in previous section that neither decreases in enthalpy for increase in entropy alone can determine the direction of spontaneous change for these systems. For this purpose, we define a new thermodynamic function, the Gibbs energy or Gibbs function. So, uh, where it can be represented by G is equal to H minus Ts. Okay, Gibbs function is an ext extensive property and a state function. The change in Gibbs energy for the system that is delta G for the system. So, we can write as delta H minus uh, system into delta T. So, at constant temperature, at constant temperature that is delta t is equal to 0 therefore delta uh, g is equal to delta h minus delta t into okay this is the change in the gibbs energy usually the subscript system is dropped and we simply write this equation we write this simple equation delta H minus T into delta S. This one we will write. And this Gibbs energy change is equal to enthalpy change minus temperature into entropy change and is referred to as a Gibbs equation. This we can call as Gibbs equation. One of the most important equation in chemistry. Okay. This is about Gibbs energy and spontaneity. And I will explain you uh, about uh, spontaneity. The first one, delta G, gives a criteria for spontaneity at constant pressure and temperature. The first case in that uh, delta G is negative less than zero. The process is spontaneous. The process is spontaneous, okay, and uh, for this is delta G. 
and for the second delta g is uh, positive that is greater than zero that's what is the process is non spontaneous okay this is about gibson urgent spontaneity 